Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale this Black & Decker 4-in-1 coffee station. Model number CM0750. So is your coffee not tasting as good? Is your coffee not as hot? Is your coffee maker taking a long time to brew coffee and is it really loud? These are all signs that it's time to descale with vinegar. So coffee makers have a heating element on the inside. I've taken this heating element out of another coffee maker and cut it open, but the water comes in, it gets heated, and then it gets shot out this other tube over the coffee grounds. But this is an aluminum heating element, and over time, hard water and mineral deposits will start to stick to the inside of this heating element, and it'll start to restrict how hot it can brew your coffee, and it even starts to affect the taste of your coffee. So when we descale, we're running the vinegar through here, but we're also gonna stop it halfway through and let the vinegar soak inside this heating element. That'll help break it loose. So I've got the manual here. We'll be cleaning it with vinegar, descaling it according to the uh, instructions. We're gonna fill it up to the two cup mark with vinegar and the rest of it with water. So I like to use distilled white vinegar. You can use regular vinegar. I buy this at Walmart, 64 fluid ounces for a buck 50. We're not gonna be using all of it though. So you're gonna open this up. If you've got a filter, a reusable filter, you're gonna remove it. But you do need this brew basket installed. So make sure the brew basket is installed. Make sure there's no water in here right now and your craft is empty. So we're gonna take the pure vinegar. We're gonna fill it up to the two mark here. So you just dump it in right to the two mark, okay? Now I'm gonna fill it up with fresh water from the two to the five. Okay, so I've got it filled all the way up to the five mark. We're just gonna close this. The carafe is installed and just turn it on. Make sure that blue light's on. Now we're gonna watch this. When it gets to the three cup mark, we're gonna turn it off. We wanna let that heating element soak. We're gonna let it soak for about 15 to 30 minutes. Then we'll resume, then we'll just turn the switch back on finish the brew, and then we gotta do some cleansing brews with some fresh water. So vinegar does smell when it goes through a coffee maker, so you might need a little bit of ventilation. And start to finish, you're gonna need about 20, 25 minutes from start to finish when you start this. Okay, so we're almost to the three mark. You're just gonna shut this off. That's gonna stop the, the water and vinegar from coming out, and it's gonna let that heating element soak. So right now that heating element will be filled up with uh, vinegar and water. We're gonna let it soak from 15 minutes. If you haven't DCL in a while, let it soak for about 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. Go ahead and turn the coffee maker back on and it'll finish brewing the rest of that vinegar and water through. Okay, so it's finishing up with that brew. Go ahead and turn it off. We're gonna dump this water and vinegar out and then we're gonna rinse this out with soap and water. Be careful, this can be hot, but we may, we may wanna rinse this out with soap and water. It'll have some vinegar on it too. So we're done with the vinegar. Now we're gonna just fill it up with fresh water. Fill it up to the five cup mark. Okay. The brew basket's installed. Close the lid and turn it on again. We're gonna brew that fresh water through the machine to get rid of that, rid of that vinegar taste and smell. I like to do three fresh water rinses. Again, when it's done with this, be careful that will be hot. Dump it out, put fresh cold water in the back, brew, and then brew it again. You may get a little bit of steam coming back at you, so be careful because that is hot in there, but turn it off each time when it's done. So thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.